Hey guys, if you are not seeing the link to the free lot in the description, just wait, it's going to show at the top right corner of this video, just at the perfect moment. So just keep watching. The first thing you are going to do is to create a color lookup. After creating the color lookup, there is when you are going to apply the lot. But I just want you to get it right. That's why you are not seeing the link right now. It's going to show at the top right corner of this video for sure. If you don't see it, let me know in the comment section. I'll send you a direct link. So after creating this color lookup table, you come here and click on the load 3D lot. Now, click on the load 3D lot and go to the folder where you've saved this particular lot. It's called Pro Direct Skin Tone Lot. It works best on skin tone that has excessive red in them. You know, most times due to uh, the source of light or um, ambient lighting or materials and the environment or just your camera setting, we mostly end up having too much red on our image. It happens most of the time. This lot works best for it. It directs the image and returns it to a perfect stage. So you click on load and then voila this just happened to your image but you can see that this is just too much like every good lot if you apply them immediately they affect your image uh somehow that you don't understand sometimes you think that the lot is not good no it's not the lot it's you you have to go and reduce the opacity for a very good and easy lot like this just come and reduce your opacity reduce it while watching the skin tone until you see that it's all right somewhere around 50 40 30 depending on the image on how red it previously was so you adjust the, this until it's okay like this so this was the before and this is the after but loss is just for color correction or color reading it has nothing to do with your exposure so most time you apply the load and your image is still looking dark or just not looking right at that point you come to your adjustment again and create a levels adjustment the levels adjustment is the best and simplest adjustment for exposure. So you look at this histogram here. All this white bar is just indicating where the exposure is. And it's showing that the midpoint has the highest number of pixels in the image. That is the distribution of your image on the histogram. This extreme left indicates the darkest point and this extreme right indicates the brightest point why this middle is the midpoint if you look here you can see that there's no white bars here meaning that this exposure this image is under exposed so you move this bar from the right to the left like this until it reaches this point and it means your image is now well exposed this is a pro tip so take good note of it you adjust slightly again just to add contrast this was before and this is after if maybe your image was overexposed you do the opposite you come down to this bar here and move it to the left instead you can see exactly what it's doing but that's not what we design this image this is the particular adjustment we are going to play with so you move it like this until it's okay so now let's group and see the before and after this was the before too red this is the after it's no longer too red support this channel by liking and leaving a comment share this video with other comrades if you are not okay at any point you can adjust your opacity opacity looks very easy to adjust but just the choice you make adjusting your opacity can drastically affect your image this is not the point you should stop editing. You can still go on to sharpen. You can still go on to do your own stylized color grading. But this one will correct your image, which is the main purpose of this video. If you find it helpful, leave a comment in the comment section. Support us on this channel by sharing our views to other platforms so that other creatives like you can see and we can all grow together as a community. If you are not seeing this, the link to this lot, or if you are having issue with the download or if you are encountering any, any issue along the way let me know in the comment section you can come back to watch this video as many times as possible until you get the whole thing right if you have any issue let me know in the comment section happy to be part of your creative journey see you in another amazing tutorial